Welcome to the section 2.3 video lecture. I am Dr. Scott Spaniel, your instructor uh, for stats. Uh, and so today what we're going to do is talk about uh, additional displays uh, for quantitative data. So we're going to talk about two additional displays, two different ways uh, you can display quantitative data beyond uh, the histograms that we talked about in the last section. So you can go ahead and take out uh, your um, no cheats if you want to follow along. These are in this week on Blackboard, or you can find them on my math lab depending on the course structure. Uh, and we'll talk about 2.3. So the first uh, option here is um, a stem and leaf plot. So stem and leaf plots are really nice uh, ways to, by hand, uh, make things that are kind of similar to histograms, um, but also include the actual data values themselves. So this is good for small amounts of uh, data. So the with stem and leaf plots, the stem of a data value will consist of the digits to the left of the rightmost digit. The leaf of the data value will be the rightmost digit. So if I have um, a bunch of numbers, uh, let's say that's my number 2,356, then the very last number over here is my leaf, and everything to the right of that is the stem. Okay. Write the stems in a vertical column in increasing order. Draw a vertical line to the right of the stems. Write each leaf corresponding to the stems to the right of the vertical line. Within each stem, rearrange the leaves in ascending order. Title the plot and provide a legend to indicate what the values represent. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at an example here. So the following data represent the ages of the presidents of the United States from George Washington through George W. Bush on their first days in office. President Cleveland's age is listed twice at 47 and 55 because he is historically counted as two different presidents, numbers 22 and 24, since his terms were not consecutive. Okay, so the first thing here, one of the nice things about this one is our data is already in order, so that's going to make things a little dip, uh, simpler. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to divide each of these numbers into two pieces. Okay, so all of these ones that have a stem of four, all the ones that are 40s, We'll get listed next to the stem four. So our stems here would be four, five, and six. Okay, and so then we just list the leaves to the right, and we want to make sure we space them out evenly. So in this case, we'd get two, three, six, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we've got 42, it's right here, then 43, 46, 46, 47, 48, and 49, and then, sorry, I forgot one, 49 again, because there's two 49s. And then we do the same thing for the 50s, right? So we'd have uh, two zeros, because we got two 50s, and then four ones, because we've got four 51s, and then two twos, because we got two 52s, and then four five fours, because we've got five 54s, and then four fives, because we've got four 55s, three sixes for the three 56s, four sevens for the um, four 57s, and one 58, so one eight. And then we do the same thing for the 60s. So we've got one 60, three 61s, one 62, two 64s, a 65, a 68, and a 69. And that would be our stem and leaf plot. We just need to add a title and a legend. Now, in this case, there are not very many stems. So what we might want to do is do what's called a split stem and leaf plot. And what we do is we split the data in half. So basically what we, en we end up with is we end up with the stem 40s twice, 50s twice, and 60s twice. And in each one, go five digits. So this first one would be 40 to 44 and then 45 to 49, and then 50 to 54, and 55 to 59, and then 60 to 64, and 65 to 69. And so what that does is it takes our four stem, three stems, and turns it into six stems. So these are a little more broken up. So if we look in our data here, we can see where each one of these stems gets broken in half. Okay, so in this case, we'd get 42 and 43, then 46, 46, 47, 48, 49, 49, 50, 50, 51, 51, 51, 51, 52, 52, and then four fours. I mean five fours. 
and then we do the other one. So we've got 55, 55, 55, 55, and so on. And then the last one. Okay. And then what you all you have to do is add a title and a legend. So for the title, uh, it can be anything that describes what this is. So this would be ages of presidents on their first day in office. And then for the legend, what we want to do is we want to put one example. It does not have to be one of the ones that's in our data set that explains what each stem and leaf means. So like I'm going to pick one that's not in our data set. So let's do 37. And then we just say we've got a stem of three and a, a leaf of seven means 37 years old. And that's just to make sure it's clear what each one of these numbers represents. Okay. Um, now that we've tried one together, let's go ahead um, and have you guys try this. You can pause the video and try this one on the next page. Before you do that, um, well, go ahead and try it and see how it works out. Because there are a couple tricks to this, but let's see if you can pull this off. Uh, if you can do this on your own or if we need a little help. So pause the video, try this, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this one now that you've had a chance to try it. So there are a few things to note here. One is we have single-digit numbers. So the key is, well, what's going to be the stem on those? And the answer is zero is the stem for those. And then the other thing that's tricky here is our numbers aren't in order. So what I like to do, because you need your numbers to be in order in the final stem and leaf pot, is I like to make two stem and leaf pots. Start by making one where you don't care about the order, you're just listing these. So in this case, our smallest stem is zero, and our largest stem is five. And make sure you list all the stems in between, even if they're not used. So all I cared about was the smallest one was zero, and the largest one were five. And now I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to list each data value, in its stem, and then I'll put them in order uh, following that. So let's see what we got. We got 12, 32, 21, 59, 22, 37, 32, 16, 27, 27, 22, 36, 3, 31, 46, 30, 25, 11, 51, 9, 30, 16, 55, and 24. Okay, so there's all the data values. And so now what we just want to do is we want to make sure we put those in order. So I'm going to remake my stem and leaf plot. And now we're going to put them in order. Okay. And now what we want to do is we add our title and our legend. So our title here would be um, Fat in McDonald's Breakfast Items. And our legend. You can pick any number that's in here. Or you can pick one that's not. So I'm just going to do 4, 2. And that's 42 grams of fat is what that one stands for. Okay, and so that's the idea. So that's a stem, how you make a stem and leaf plot. That's how stem and leaf plots work. Okay, the, other, the last type of graph we're going to look at is called a time series plot. So a time series plot. And a time series plot is obtained by plotting the time in which a va variable is measured on the horizontal axis and the corresponding value of the variable on the vertical axis. Line segments are then drawn, connecting the points. Okay, And so these are really useful when you're measuring something every year or every month or something like that. So this is an example of the prize money for men and women at Wimbledon uh, Tennis Championship from 1990 to 2007. Notice the top line, which is blue, is the men's line, and the bottom line, which is pink, is the women's line. And so to read this, 
we read it just like a bar graph. We just figure out how high is the dot. So estimate the prize money awarded to each for men's and ladies in 1990. So in 1990, it looks like the men were about 230 thousand pounds uh, and i believe the symbol for pounds kind of a little l like that i might have that backwards but and then for women it looks like it's about two hundred ten thousand. and you just need to be in that general vicinity pounds okay now do it in 2006 so in 2006 it looks like for the men it was about six hundred and fifty thousand, and for the women it's about 620,000. So describe the relationship that might exist between the prize money awarded for men's and ladies singles over the time period shown. Well, it looks like they're basically going up at the same rate, but the women started lower, right? That's looks how they're related. Use the graph to determine what happened for the first time in 2007. So what happened for the first time in 2007? Well, their lines match up. So that means they got the same amount of prize money in 2007. And then it says, Estimate the percentage increase in prize money awarded for men's and ladies singles in from 2006 to 2007. So we have the numbers here for 2006. 2007, it looks like they both made 700,000 pounds for the winner. And percent increase, remember, is just the ending amount minus the starting amount divided by the starting amount times 100%. So I'll just do it for the men. And um, and then here, we'll write it. Actually, let me go and write it out. Okay. So, let's see what we get for those. So, for the men, I'm getting 7.7%. And for the ladies, I get 12.9%. Okay. And so that's it. That's the idea for time series plots. So we'll go ahead and end there uh, for this section.